Hey guys, welcome to Pill Reaction, where we will discuss about the drug and their adverse reactions. In this video, we will learn about NSAIDs and their side effects. So to start with, first have a quick look at NSAIDs and how do they act. Prostinoids are synthesized from arachidonic acid by either COX-1 or COX-2 enzymes, which play an important role in maintaining hemostasis. So when we say about hemostasis, it means it is a normal physiological condition, right? Prostinoids are also synthesized in the, with the same precursor arachidonic acid pathway in pathological condition. This is where the scope of NSAIDs come into picture. But in general, when NSAIDs is taken as a drug, it inhibits the production of prostaglandin in common, regardless of whether it is of pathological or physiological result, hence arousing some of the side effects. In this picture, we can see from arachidonic acid in GI mucosa, prostaglandin E2 is produced. Since this is a physiological prostaglandin, it helps in gastric protection by increasing the mucus secretion. And in case of kidney, PGE2 and PGI2 helps in vasodilation of afferent arteriole, which increases GFR. When NSAIDs inhibit these physiological prostaglandins, it results in peptic ulcer in stomach and in the same way it results in sodium and water retention, hypertension, hemodynamic acute kidney injury in kidneys. By this we can understand that when physiological benefits are inhibited it turns into a pathological side effects. Now we will see the effect of NSAIDs on stomach. Our stomach gastric acid is highly acidic in nature. Imagine if this highly acidic substance comes in direct contact with the GI cells, then our GI cells will get eroded, right? Hence, to prevent this, our body produces mucus secretion, which acts as a barrier between our GI cells and gastric acid. When these NSAIDs are taken, it inhibits prostaglandin E2 synthesis in the stomach, which results in less or no mucus secretion, less bicarbonate secretion, and decreased blood flow to the GI mucosal cells and ultimately results in mucosal damage by the gastric acid. This is the reason why proton pump inhibitors are given before food whenever NSAIDs are prescribed. When the protective effect of the stomach mucosal cells is taken down by NSAIDs, we also take down the aggressive effects of gastric acid. Now we will see the effects of NSAIDs on renal system. Renal prostaglandins function primarily as vasodilators in kidney, thereby dilating the blood vessel and increasing the blood to the renal system. When NSAIDs are given in long term, this can adversely affect renal system by blocking the production of prostaglandins, which results in a decline in GFR that can ultimately result in acute kidney injury. Thank you. Please like to our channel, share and subscribe.